Okay then, so as you can see, it is a massive, massive tome here, and I've only just been able to get it in camera. Uh, now I've had this since, well, since it was published, and back then in 2012, I was working in the book trade, and this particular copy was like the display one, and it turned up very, very cheap. It was like in the sale. So I picked it up for just a few pounds, and um, in all honesty, I've not looked at it since 2012. So um, it will be quite interesting to go through. As I said, it's not mint by any means. It was the display one, so people will flip through it. But I certainly haven't looked at it in 10 years, and I'm very curious to see exactly what's included. So I see it was published in the States by Whitman, but it's got a Titan Books 34.99 sort of over sticker there. So it was distributed here in the UK. And it says copyright 2010 on the uh, on the back there. And, um, well, let's get it out. I mean, first of all, actually, we can see it's got 3D glasses. So the book is supposed to be viewed with these 3D glasses on. I'm not going to put them on now, but suffice to say, if you've got some 3D glasses at home, you might benefit from whacking them on. Well, let's slide it out of this massive slipcase here. And hopefully we'll just, just about be able to get it all in shot. Let's line that up a little bit. Well, first of all, great, great jacket on it. That's similar to the back of the box, isn't it? So let's have a look. Right. <laughs> Okay, well that's not a good start. That seems to be some sort of plastic sticker that's got a bit a bit worn on that one. So we'll just stick that to one side. And this here is profile storage box. I think this is designed you sort of would make that into a little box and put some sort of cards in. So once again, we'll stick that to one side. And let me just check the camera here now to make sure that everything is actually in shot. It doesn't seem too bad. A little bit of reflection there, so see if I can get a bit of that away. There we are. I think that's about as good as we're gonna gonna get with this one because it is so enormous. So four main chapters there. Oh, and it does say 2010, so uh, looks like this is even older than I thought. And you can sort of tell the sort of the 3D style with this, can't you? It looks certain colours, the reds and the blues, and that. Now. What's this here? Okay. Looks like a fold out poster. I think this book is filled with bits and pieces like that, which I thought might be quite fun to go through since I've literally no idea what is in here. I think it might be worth putting my storage box in there as well, since that seems quite a big sort of pocket. Now, one of the best bits about Avatar that I remember was that amazing opening. And it's a bit like the Aliens 2 opening, the James Cameron Aliens film, um, when they're all coming out of sort of deep sleep, but taken to uh, another degree. Absolutely superb. I've got to admit, when I was thinking about it, there's so many James Cameron movies that I do love. He certainly is the one for the spectacle, isn't he? And he does uh, tick a lot of boxes for me. And I shall definitely re-watch this first one before seeing the, the follow-up. So that's the first sort of couple of cards. So whether these are in order or not, or if they're in the right place, I definitely just don't know. But we'll, uh, we'll have a look at them as we go along. So what's this? And this is like, I think it's supposed to sort of go like that, over it. That, I believe is what that is, that's sort of uh, the power tool. So we'll have a look at that as we come to it. It certainly is a huge book. I don't want to miss any pages. But certainly the, uh, the hype is there at the moment, isn't it, for this second film. Lots of people very excited for it. There we are, that's another one of those in there. Sigourney. Oh, there's some more cards. I 
we will look at these as we go along. I would imagine if we pulled them all out, we could probably match them all up to the right pages and stuff, but I think mine are probably a bit out of order. Hmm. So that, I'm guessing, should go on there, like that. There's a couple of odd cards there, which are... Oh, they probably live over there. There we are. <laughs> so I've no idea how scarce this book is today, but I can't imagine many have survived in great condition since it was so interactive. So here's another little pull out here. So it's like just one's in like a little mini poster to stick on your wall, I guess. A couple more cards. Just the one card there. That's missing a card there. So yeah, I think. To get them all accurate, we'd need to pull all the cards out and uh, replace them in the correct spots. Yes, it's definitely uh, made me want to go back and uh, revisit the movie. There's an empty slot there. Because it's been a while. In fact, I cannot tell you the last time I watched Avatar. So I suspect this may have come out of another part of the book. But yeah, I know they've certainly spent a lot of money on the uh, on the sequels so I guess there's quite a bit riding on it uh, that would be where that other poster goes so I have a feeling I might need to pull all of the bits and pieces out and then replace them in the correct spots but that's a job uh, to do another day the main thing was I wanted you to have a look at just what a great great book this is I mean it really is gorgeous isn't it it was a special effects masterpiece. It was as simple as that. There's no other way to describe it, really. And it was, you know, an event movie. That's how you could describe it. And uh, I'm not quite sure that Avatar 2 has got the same... You know, it's not had the same amount of hype, really. Um, not like that first one was, because it was so groundbreaking. But I guess it's early days yet, and I suppose once people start seeing it and the reviews start coming out then we'll get to see what's what. Well, that's like a little sticker there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And that's the, uh, the folder. Looks like there was four fold-outs, one for each chapter. And that third one was the one that was out of spot, but that's nice. I like that, with the logos on. The Marines were quite similar to the uh, Marines and Aliens. Yeah. And this must be where So those go over here, and this must have been where this one was supposed to go, but it has got a bit creased up, sadly. So whether I'm going to be able to rescue that, I might need to give it an iron or something, <laughs> see if I can pull it back, but that's where it's supposed to be. I guess it looks great once it is in 3D. <laughs> I 
Well, I might just have to watch Avatar this afternoon. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, what a book. What a book, you have to say. Incredible. Your tour of Pandaria. That's what they said. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking through that one. That was certainly a revelation. Um, as I said, I've had it for years and never actually gone through it. So it was uh, good to finally have a peek inside. Thanks very much for watching today. I hope you enjoy Avatar 2. I'm certainly looking forward to it. After watching that, it reminded me what was what. If you have enjoyed it, do please hit the thumbs up. Do please consider subscribing for regular vintage science fiction content. And I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.